he's settled in straight away. He's eaten up, hasn't left any feed, and uh, he looks well. Didn't lose too much weight, so we're, we're thrilled with the way he's settled in. And I know that there was talk of entering into the King Stand as well as the Diamond Jubilee if the ground's soft. Could you maybe consider following in Shazir's footsteps and going for both of them? Um, it was in the back of our minds. Uh, we feel though um, we did, we're did. just keeping our options open. Um, we're a bit worried about England's reliable weather and um, we, we want him to run on a dry track. So uh, we thought if he was looking to be wet, Diamond Jubilee uh, would run in the King Stand. So it was just uh, um, keeping our options open, making sure we can get the best possible um, track conditions. Traditionally, when horses have come over um, and won the Lightning and the Newmarket, uh, they normally do have a pretty good uh, strut rate over here, and he's done that. So uh, he's in the market, he's third favourite, and there's a little bit of Australian form in the race as well, so I think he has a good chance. Ascot's only ever had the best, Black, Cav Black Caviar, Shrazier, Star Spangled Banner, so um, I think our horse is in that category and hopefully he can do the same. And um, where, uh, where would a win here rank amongst your achievements in racing? Well, I've only been training two years. Um, I've won a Caulfield Cup, um, but it would definitely be the highlight of my career. Uh, winning an international group one is definitely on the bucket list. Um, I've had a winner internationally, but not an international group one. So um, that would be the biggest thrill. And... Uh, no, it would just be fantastic. Will he be staying over for the July Cup? Uh, it will depend on how he runs. If he runs well, uh, he probably will. If he wins, he will. And if he's disappointing, we'll just have to um, see how he pulls up and we'll make a decision uh, whether we go back to Australia or not.